Have y'all ever been? Oh shit! To oh. Flavor Town. Oh my god! Ashbury, was right. take me to Flavor Town. <laughs> Ashbury. Yes. I'm going to Flavor Town right now. Hell yeah! Yes. 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 Buckle yes. up because you're cruising straight into an insanely fire. Try not to eat diners drive. Oh, try dive. not oh, to oh, eat, damn. dude. Dude, this show. Mm -hmm. Is like this is my dream. Mm -hmm. If you grow up with a Food Network, you know damn well you, what this is. You. If I just had a ton of money, I would just like watch those videos and just travel everywhere. Is there anything oh. you're excited to try? There was like a barbecue lasagna. Was that like crab pasta? Every time he goes to the south and gets some barbecue. <laughs> oh my god. There's Wait. also one in Temecula that I kind of the, that barbecue place. Oh. But I mean, the, say. here's the thing: if you don't have to have a lot of money to try the foods. Right you can here. try those foods for free today. My arteries are clogging just thinking about it. I feel like Guy oh, is just a yes. piece of American culture yes. at this point. I'm ready, Ash! The Let's girl. go ahead and have some awesome food today! <laughs> One of the meats going into the lasagna. Wait a second. Lasagna at a barbecue joint. Oh, what? Is my this? God. I oh, literally God. called yeah, it barbecue. barbecue lasagna. Oh, yes. it's the meat lasagna. Oh, this is what I was literally just talking about. Oh, this has pulled pork. It's got chicken. I don't know if it has beef. There's no way we're eating healthy today. Merka. I, I can get there. It's in California. Oh. God damn. Ooh. That looks like a rib. Kick. Oh my goodness. Kick. Lasagna. From Hobo's Barbecue in Temecula, California, we've got a crazy mashup of barbecue and Italian food with this insanely delicious barbecue lasagna. Packed with pulled pork, smoked chicken, and Cajun sausage, we guarantee you haven't tried anything like this before. And I'm proud to be an American. Please oh my God. Oh, I'm free. <laughs> like so much meat too. Oh which my is like goodness. Great. I don't know about this one, Noah. In, I will say in person, I really want the prize. I'm trying to think about what the prize could be right now because if this is the starter, is the starter. Ed, you were just complaining about driving all the way out to Temecula. It's literally 14 inches from your nose. I know, right? How do you go hype it up oh. and then not oh. eat it, Travis? Oh, dude. Gobble it up. To me, that's like putting cheese and pasta on a rib and I can't get on board with that. I almost took a bite without assimilating oh, into Flavortown. Oh my god! Mm, yes. yes! How long have you lived here, Ed? Seven years. Mm. Never even stepped foot into Semecula before. Exactly. Oh my god. That's all she wrote. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god, there's so much barbecue sauce in there. Maybe I'll want it once I cut it into it. It smells so good. See, because the thing is, the day no, that I lose, don't. it has to be like a very, very big crazy thing. Like something you've been waiting seven years to try. See, this is why Ooh. I didn't want you to cut it open. Oh man, that looks good. Dude, I I can a barbecue. But I'm not because I want the prize. No, I'm gonna what? do it. No, I what? said I wasn't gonna do it, but watch this show my whole life. That's fair. And to have the opportunity to try the food. That's fair. I'm doing it. Challenge yourself to do something different and eat. <sighs> it's very predictable. It's kind. Of, oh, You're it's not eating. super oh, I know. predictable. Believe me, I read the comments all the time. Yawn fest. But there boring. also are people who appreciate the fact that I've never eaten a single thing. The meats don't clash. Okay. And the barbecue sauce with it is like the best baked beans you've ever had. No, you're really channeling Guy Fieri right now. He like that sounded like really a whole spiel. Woo, I love it. The one that I remember most is, that's all she wrote. <laughs> that's all she wrote. He goes, that's off the hook. It's off the hook. Oh, if you try it, you should I'm gonna be so look. cringy if mm. I say it. You better say it. That's off the hook. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I put too much like, <laughs> it's not like. Steak and cola, ready to finish, Jen. The steak steak really and cola? Really oh, 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 oh. steak it, and cola? Steak and cola pizza. Hold on. Like Coca Cola? And now we put the cola. Like, I love me some pizza, right but like. Have you ever had soda marinated meat? Oh, bro. I feel like it works. It's like sweet sausage. You know what I mean? I want to eat it. I got to put it in my body. Oh, yes! Coke marinated steak on pizza. Oh, you can smell the cola. Our next stop is Dirty Water Dough in Boston for steak and cola pizza. This cola marinated thinly sliced steak complements the perfectly chewy, cheesy pizza and will leave your taste buds satisfied. So they marinate the steak in cola. Mm -hmm. Dude, this smells oh, so fantastic. Good. No! And I like it thick. 
You, I thought you were just gonna do it. <laughs> Seen a Nike ad. See, like this one doesn't really like scream out at me because like I know he's gone to a ton of pizza places. Pizza's been my downfall the last couple of months. <laughs> wait, wait, the last couple of months? Damn! Really? It's so good. It? It's a little bit sweeter. That's really weird. I don't know if I can get on board with the steak on the pizza. For me, I know, like, if I'm gonna have a steak, I'd rather have a steak. Yeah. Did you know Guy Fieri started cooking from a young age because he got tired of his mother's vegetarian cooking? Oh, According no to way. Guy, his mom said, if you don't like it, then you can cook. So Guy went to the butcher shop, bought ribeye steaks, and because he grew up liking soy sauce, seared the steak in butter and soy sauce. Apparently, Guy recalls his father saying it's the best steak he ever had. Butter and soy sauce? That sounds great. It's yeah. a lot of sodium. <laughs> well, if okay. he was vegetarian, it may have been the only steak. The first steak he had. <laughs> it's the first, yeah, it's the first I mean, if it's the first steak he had, you're like, God dang, <laughs> this is great. Mm. No, I'm actually really curious. I just want to eat this one meatball. She deserves to be it. treated right. You don't have to eat the whole thing, you can just eat the meat part. Three, two, what? Oh, did you get a little crust in there mm -hmm. too? I'm so happy. Oh, it's so. It's so what? Sexy. Mm. <laughs> Tada! It did not take you to Flavor Town. It did not take me to Flavor mm. Town. All right, Jair, <laughs> say no to the Zaw. I'm gonna say no to this, to this Zaw. To put a Philly cheesesteak into the crepe is just an anomaly. You're not a gonna crepe see Philly mm -hmm. cheesesteak. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you we were talking about cheesesteaks. I'm, I'm a little. Particular about cheesesteaks. Oh, 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 Jair, what are you gonna do? You know what? I feel like people always thought crepes were just sweet, but the savory ones are worth it, dude. Oh my god, I love onions. I can eat an onion raw, like no problem. Oh, no, be man. quiet. I will not open my eyes. Smell it. No! Surely you've had a crepe and a cheesesteak before, but ever had the two together? From Gambino's Crepery in Palm Springs, this ultra unique cheesesteak crepe has a perfectly crunchy wrap and a lovely gooey interior. Oh my God. Why did that look so sexual? Travis. Bro, fun fact, I had my first crepe on this channel. I never had one before. You never had a crepe? Yeah, crepe? No. It was like cream cheese with like a thin pancake. And you fell in love? Nah, too sweet. Ah. But this is a savory crepe. Ooh. But then coming up from the East Coast, like I've had a lot of Philly yeah. steaks. I really want the prize, but imagine this is better than the prize. Oh There's man, chimichurri. There's chimichurri. There's also fresh onions. Mm. I just feel like the prize is always going to be worth it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, are you moving it? I can smell more. Yeah. <gasps> so Ooh. I'm down now. <laughs> I, I'm picky with my cheese steaks. I'm, I'm good with this. That's what I'm talking about. Are you going to eat it? I am, but I'm gonna do it in a way that makes everyone at home upset. Here You're my go. hero. But why? Because why not? There's a time and place for everything, right? Sometimes for the big rolls, other times this. I can smell while you talk. Yeah. Give me some more of that. Oh, this is good. No, I, it doesn't really speak to me either. I'm gonna tell you, it, it was really good. Noah! Yeah. <laughs> I don't win these normally. She really puts her heart and soul into every single sandwich. She's ruined BLTs for me. Oh! I can no longer have them on toast. Oh! Oh, 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 yes! A BLT on a bagel. And there's a spicy pepper cream cheese. That That's a spicy jalapeno delicious. cream cheese. I'm eating this. Dang, I made it this far! You're gonna eat it? No! I might be finishing this whole thing if I eat it. Oh my god, I'm so excited. As a bagel. As a bagel. As a, As a bagel. Light, tender, Great chew, bacon's great, but these oven roasted. Uh, I can hear Guy Fieri talk about food all day. Dude, this is the fun part when I I know that I'm already screwed with the punishment. So, oh, what are you trying to say? Next up is an off the hook. Next up is an off the hook bagel BLT from Bagel Saurus in Cambridge, Massachusetts. With slow roasted plum tomatoes and a lovely spicy cream cheese, the sandwich takes the BLT and bagels to the next level. BLTs would always be better on a on a bagel because they usually just come in a sandwich. Whoa! <laughs> All my dreams in this parchment. Oh, I feel good, dude. It's an onion bagel. Oh, I love onion bagels. They're the best. You clearly don't if you're not gonna eat it. There may be one thing that stops me. What? What kind of bagel is this? It's an onion bagel. F I hate onion bagels. I what? smell it. No, that's the worst bagel. I love plum. Oh, There's the kick from the jalapeno. Bacon and lettuce and beautiful plum tomatoes on it. It's got a little bit of a kick to it. Let's see what you about. Oh. 
Oh, I want this so bad. So, super random fact, Guy uh -huh. Fieri was the inspiration behind Melissa McCarthy's character in Bridesmaids. No shot, that's like one of my favorite movies. Apparently, that Melissa McCarthy hard. fought to actually don white, short, spiky hair, but the producer said that she couldn't actually be Guy Fieri. <laughs> that I did actually would've been funny. <laughs> that makes so much sense thinking about the movie. Yeah. I, I'm still good on these. I haven't seen my crab pasta. That's my number one the best bagel I've ever had ever. I know, I think this is gonna be the one I really regret. Why deny yourself of this pleasure? Because I'm a winner, starting today. You're not gonna <clears> eat this. <throat> oh, snap! Let's go, let's go, Chef Ash. Uh, talking don't about. put the glasses on! <laughs> 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 we are fully in Flavor Town right mm -hmm. now. We really are. Fried lobster, fried shrimp, and a buttermilk waffle. Well, fried lobster? Oh, I'm done. What? Oh. 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 Fuck. Fried lobster, fried shrimp. Oh. Wowzer. The fact that she saved this for last <laughs> is messed up. <gasps> Don't! Seafood, Not with seafood! Oh. If there is one thing I will ever fall for in this channel, it is fried seafood. My God! Kitty. Oh. You've heard of chicken and waffles, but ever heard of fried lobster and waffles? This dish called the Hulk hails from the seafood lady in Louisville and will surely make you rethink the way you eat seafood and waffles. It's a spicy maple syrup. Spicy maple syrup? Well, I didn't know it was <laughs> spicy until I was pouring it before. I guess that's why you're supposed to wait till they explain it. Whoa, 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 what's happening over here? I'm just looking. You're just looking? Just window shopping. Oh my god. I am a seafood girl. You're just checking out the I'm consistency just, of the waffle? Yeah, I'm just seeing if I could make a perfect bite if I was going to eat this. Oh yeah, if you were. If I was going to eat this. <laughs> Spicy, got a kick. Oh, it's not bad. Then like, fries. how is the prize gonna be better than this? I'm I'm actually not a huge seafood lover, so huh? this one's pretty easy for me mm -hmm. to... Trick wow, trick wow, wow. Damn. Mm-hmm. I do love me some lobster too. Oh, that was a commercial. Oh my god. I don't like having syrup on my savory stuff. Shut What's up. Shut up. Mm -mm, can't gonna... do it. You get syrup on my chicken, I ain't eating it. Uh... <laughs> yes. So wow, you... well done, man. <laughs> you held out the whole show. You couldn't do it. Oh my god. What? She can't even tell me what it's like. That's a prize. No! That's a prize. How about no? Think about pigs in a blanket uh -huh. instead of lobster. Mm. Sounds like a fancy bar mitzvah. I'm in heaven right now. No, oh, I'm not in heaven. I'm in flavor now. <laughs> this is the third time I've pulled on the last one. <laughs> You've done this two other times? Give me the prize! I need it now! I'm so happy right now. Well, I'm so glad that you're happy right now because guess what? That's our challenge. Damn. Congratulations, Ed and Izzy. You were able to avoid some delicious dishes, and for that, we're firing up the ultimate Flavor Town feast. Uh oh. It better be better than the lobster. Lobster ravioli. The ravioli is made fresh. You never lobster ravioli? The lobster raviolis with the jumbo, jumbo pieces of lobster. These are those huge crab ravioli. Can I tell you? There's your seafood. I love lobster ravioli. Wait a second. Bye. I thought you was just getting the raviolis. <laughs> oh, There's a lot going oh. on here right now. Lobster ravioli is like, what? Is that alcohol? Oh, and the weed. And it was! There was tequila! <laughs> we could have had the bottle! For our winners, we've got a spread of Italian-inspired dishes approved by Guy himself. We've got scampi wings, lobster ravioli, and creme brulee French toast, all featured on Triple D. We also have Guy's special nacho recipe, Guy Italian nachos, and a nice paloma made with Guy's tequila brand, Santo Tequila. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah! You like that? That's my victory song. Oh, well, oh, wait, really? That's your- God damn! <laughs> oh, that's good ravioli. Is it good? Wow! This is good! Give me that punishment. Enjoy. Mm. We have a lot going on on these nachos. Sharon! What? Pepper. What? 
Ash, god dang it, what? <laughs> oh my god, I feel like it would taste better when uh, I see Travis eating his punishment. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, Sharon, Travis, Noah, and Jair, you were tempted, and for that you must suffer the consequences. It was so not worth it! And check out the Dwayne Purvis burger. Peanut butter. A peanut butter burger? Oh, peanut butter burger. Peanut butter burger? Just lay it on there. That much? Nice. That's a lot of peanut butter. I feel like a peanut butter burger isn't that bad. Look <laughs> that he just gave the camera, dude. He's a little skeptical. I absolutely don't enjoy that at all. <laughs> oh, he doesn't like it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, there's cheese on it. Finally, for our losers, we've got a dish detested by the mayor of Flavortown, the Dwayne Purvis All-American Burger from Triple X in West Lafayette, Indiana. Smothered in peanut butter, this burger is truly not for everyone, especially not our guy. This is your hometown. It's from Indiana? Oh! It's, did you already know about this beforehand? So, fun fact, I actually grew up going to that restaurant, and that oh, is really? my dad's favorite burger. Oh, the is peanut butter? Really? No, it is not. Yeah. No, it is not. I bet it's a lot better than this one. It is. Bro, the smell is so bad! First of all, the cheese, if you like cheese, which obviously I do not, is not even melted on there. I'm so happy I oh, waited. That's I'm a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if I have to, ooh. But I do feel like you did me dirty because you cooked the heck out of that thing. That's not a burger, that's like beef jerky. <laughs> <laughs> Was it Virgil's? What's it called? Ooh. Okay, that's enough. What's the <laughs> cap? You know what? I actually got mad at it. <laughs> oh. oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I put too much alcohol. I think the onions are frozen. <laughs> Like, I feel like if you made this a normal way, it wouldn't be bad. I kind of wish we had some jelly on this. Oh! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Did you just take a second bite? Yeah. Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa. That's actually not bad. I actually like it. There's not anything overtly bad about it, but there's just so much. <laughs> oh. Well, do you guys regret your decisions? Yes! Not at all. Yes, I do! We're rolling out. Oh my god. Thanks for participating. I think you're my favorite part of this episode. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Try Not To Eat. Let us know what else you guys want to see in the comments down below. You know what, I grew up going to this restaurant that this burger is from, and I didn't think it was that bad, but then again, I also haven't had my version of it. So, bon appetit. Oh, oh, I'm rolling out. Peace.